topology and shape optimization in Abacus can now be performed in the Abacus topology optimization module, also known as Atom. Optimization, in general, is a process of finding the best candidate from a collection of alternatives. Structural optimization is then optimization techniques applied to improving or finding the best mechanical structures. Structural optimization can be classified into three categories, sizing, shape, and topology. In sizing, the connectivity of the design domain remains intact as illustrated by the figure on the right. In shape, only the boundary changes and in topology, the connectivity of the design domain as well as the boundary of the design domain may change. The Abacus Topology Optimization module allows for both shape and topology optimization. Let us compare Atom with EyeSight. Whereas EyeSight is a general purpose design exploration and optimization package, Atom has been tuned for topology and shape optimization only. EyeSight has been designed to parametrically vary any input provided to it, whereas the Atom Optimizer can be considered as non-parametric. EyeSight is meant for small number of design variables, whereas Atom has been tuned to handle very large number of design variables. In Atom, multi-objectives are always summed up to a single objective and then the sum is optimized. In EyeSight, more sophisticated multi-objective techniques are available. Therefore, EyeSight and Atom complement each other very nicely. Let us move on to discussing the workflow of the Abacus Topology Optimization module. The workflow can generally be divided into five steps. Step one is the setup of the Abacus model as usual. Step two is setup of the optimization task. Step 2 will involve the configuration of the optimization algorithm, the creation of design responses, the creation of objective functions, and the creation of constraints. In Step 3, once the optimization task is ready, an optimization process will be created. The optimization process will then be submitted. In Step 4, it is monitored. And finally, in Step 5, the results are reviewed. The results of the topology optimization can then be extracted either as an Abacus input file or an STL file. Next, using topology optimization of a bridge as an example, we shall discuss the workflow for setting up a topology optimization problem in Abacus. Moving to the Abacus CAE viewport, we can see the Abacus model. The Abacus model is fully set up and ready to be solved. We will now move to the optimization module to set up the optimization. We will begin by clicking on the Create Optimization Task button in the Optimization Toolbox. We will create Task 3, which is a Topology Optimization Task. Atom prompts you to select the Optimization region or, create, or clear and press Done to use the whole model. Press Done. We will now configure the Optimization Task. We will choose to freeze the load regions we will use a normal density update strategy and we will not modify any of the advanced options. Click OK to create opti optimization task 3. Clicking on the optimization task manager, we can see now that there are three tasks in this model. The topology optimization algorithm has now been configured. We have chosen to retain most of the defaults. Next, we will create design responses for our optimization. Click on the Create Design Response button on the Optimization Toolbox. We will create a single term design response with the name Design Response 1. We will choose Strain Energy as a design response and we will choose sum of values as the operator. By doing so, we are choosing the sum of strain energies of all the elements over the whole model. Next, we will create another design response. This design response will be named design response 2 and it will also be a single term design response. 
Atom will prompt us to select the design response region. We will again choose the whole model. In this design response, we will choose volume as a design response. In the case of volume, the operator on values in region field is automatically set to sum of values. We have chosen the volume of the whole model. We may review the design responses we just created by clicking on the design response manager. Here we note that the sum of strain energies is design response 1 and the sum of volume of all the elements in the domain is design response 2. We may create another design response by cl clicking on the create button in the design response manager. In this example, two design responses are sufficient so we will dismiss the design response manager for now. Using the design responses we just created, we will create an objective function and a constraint. To create an objective function, click on the create objective function button in the optimization tool. We will leave the name of the objective function at default objective 1 and click continue. In the edit objective function dialog box that pops up, we will choose the target as minimized design response values. From the drop down menu, we will select design response 1 which was strain energy. We have now chosen to minimize the strain energy over the whole model as our objective. Next, we will create a constraint. Click on the create constraint button in the optimization toolbox to create a constraint. We will leave the name of the constraint at optimization constraint dash 1 and click continue. In the edit optimization constraint dialog box, we will choose design response 2 as a constraint. Design response 2 was volume. We will constrain the volume at a fraction of the initial value and we will enter the value 0.3. We have chosen to reduce the volume by 70% or in other words we will retain only 30% of the volume in the new topology. Click OK to continue. In this example we will not be creating any geometric restrictions or stop conditions. With that we conclude the setup of our topology optimization problem. Once the setup of the optimization task is complete, we will create an optimization process. Right click on optimization processes in the model tree and, and click on create. The edit optimization process dialog box pops up. An optimization process pairs an abacus model with an optimization task. In this case, we have paired model 2 with task 3. In the optimization tab, we will choose the number of design cycles for which the optimization will run. We will set this value at 70 iteration. On the parallelization tab, we will set the number of CPUs to 4. Although the optimization is sequential, Abacus can be run in parallel. We will click OK to create the optimization process. Right-clicking on the process we just created, we have an option to either validate or submit the process. We will choose to validate. Once the validation is complete, the status of the process changes to check completed. Due to the time it takes to run 70 iterations, we will not submit the process we just created. Instead, we will post-process a previously submitted process. Right-clicking on the process P7, we select Results. Clicking on Results takes us to the visualization module and the results of the topology optimization are displayed. To plot the relative material densities, select Results from the main menu and select to the Atom Optimization step and choose the last iteration. Click OK. Plot the material property normalized field output. From tools in the main menu, select the view cut manager. Check the below cut option. From this plot, we can see that the optimizer has chosen to cut this topology from a larger rectangular domain and it has chosen an arch-like shape at the periphery 
which we know to be a good design. Finally, Atom allows you to import the surface mesh of the final topology either as a STL file or as an Abacus input file. Returning to the job module, we show a triangular mesh that was imported from the results of the topology optimization. This concludes the demo of bridge design by topology optimization.